SolidWorks user groups got their start in 1997, created by users to learn from each other, provide networking opportunities, share their tips and tricks, and more. The first time I attended a SolidWorks user group meeting was in about 2005. Well, what makes me keep coming back to these is that you're trying to learn new techniques, and there's a lot of minutia and detail that you're not going to learn on your own. So if you can talk to other users, it's very helpful. The one thing that, that stands the user group apart, I think, uh, above anything, is the community and the, the camaraderie and the people involved and how uh, being involved can get you further professionally and personally. Being a SolidWorks Users Group member has benefited me professionally. I always enjoy tips and tricks. I've been going to SolidWorks Users Group since 06. I will see one or two every time I go to a presentation that I didn't know existed or that it's a better way to do something that I've been doing for years. I have met colleagues, which is very important. I've met uh, suppliers. And finally, I've met potential customers for over 10 years at Users Group meetings. I am honored to be part of this community. I have for years. And if you aren't, you should be part of the SOLIDWORKS user group network. It uh, gives you tips, tricks, and shortcuts you, you will not find in formal training. It's awesome and it's free. It's, it's a fun environment. Um, everybody gets to know everybody. You get to learn. It's kind of free learning. It's, it's great networking. It allows you to learn from the experts around. I do a lot of presenting as well, so it forces me to learn so I'm an expert on the topic before I get up there. So all the way around, it lets me be a better SOLIDWORKS user. To learn more and join the best user community around, visit swuggin.org and join a SOLIDWORKS user group today.